Hi, what's up guys, it's Reese here back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be customising my, um, Oppressor Mark II and my Terabyte because I just recently bought them both because I got a shark card, um, today and then the other day I bought the Oppressor Mark II because I sold some stuff. So, let's get started. I'm going to be maxing out my Oppressor Mark II and then I'm not really going to customise my um, Terabyte much because I don't really use the vehicles like that. I might change the colour before I do anything. Um, I'm not sure what... I might go for a matte colour. Maybe a... That looks quite nice, the matte purple. But I kind of want to go for a bright colour, like a lime green. And then secondary colour, I'm going to get... Ooh. I might keep it all lime green, actually. And then livery now i'll put a livery on it so now that i know what it looks like i'm gonna go with the arctic one um weapons i'm gonna get the homing missiles and already done with the presser mark 2 so now i'll exit this vehicle and go into the cab of this so that I can customize it. Okay, max armor, max out all the main things, and then put a respray on it. I might go with another lime green. Lower it down a little bit. The noise in the background is just a film. Um, will type. I wonder what lowrider wheels look like on this thing. And then again I'm going to put on lime green. I don't know why, I've just got a thing for lime green at the moment. This thing can literally have the same customization that a car has. Okay, that's going to be it for customising them. Now I'm going to drive outside with the terabyte and um, see what I can do in my terabyte. As in like what missions I can do. So I think that you've got clip. Okay, the scanner. You may have used something like this before. The cops usually run with an outdated version of this on their Maverick helicopters. Mine is a little more powerful. It allows you to scan other... There we go. I can upload when we're running specific jobs too. Okay, let's see what missions I can do. Um... Special cargo. I'll buy free crates. We're good. And now I'll grab my oppressor and I'll leave with my oppressor. I really enjoy the oppressor mark too. The only thing that I'm not too keen about with it is how it can 
only have one person on it but then it's got a lot of things with it like that are good about it let me get my boost ready so that I can boost up the oppressor mark 2 other than how it can have wow other than that it can only hold one person it's probably like my favorite vehicle I do not know how that guy hit me This time I want to try and actually. This guy's about to get me again, isn't he? Wow. I really don't know how to take down that Valkyrie. I'm now missing my bike. I've never had such a hard mission on collecting cargo. Where even is my bike? Just over here. He's probably gonna blow me up again. What where is it? Oh, there it is. Do I have to shoot it for it to come down? Yeah. There we go. I like it now that it's further away than me because now I can get the height before I get to it. The rockets on this don't have that far range. Let me quickly break so that I can get my boost back. What I like about the Oppressor Mark II is that it's literally, like, you can get across a map so easy. And it's really good for, like, taking stuff down even though it's not a good example on what I'm doing at the moment. There we go, that should do it. I'm not that good at getting down to the ground on this. Oh, he's down there. Where is he? There he is. Got him. Now I'm gonna have to do a lot of trips. Cause I think now, yeah, I've got to keep going back and forth. But 
luckily three miles on this thing is literally one. Although that, like the Presser Mark II, it's expensive, like, because you've got to buy a nightclub and buy a terabyte, and you've got, if you want to customize it, obviously. And the Oppressor Mark II is like 4 million by itself. And then the nightclub can vary between like 1 million to 2 million, and the terabyte can cost like 1.5 million. So it's like really expensive, probably about eight or seven million just to get it all. But in my opinion, it's kind of worth it because the Oppressor Mark II is really good. The Terabyte is really helpful. I knew that I hadn't done a like, video in a long time, but it's only because I've just been doing stuff. Now, I can get to the other one. I hate how you can only carry one crate. I like the missions where you just have to get the car Nope, I don't want to steal that car. I like the ones where you just got to steal like the slow truck. Because you only have to do one journey. There's a few downsides about the Presser Mark II, but I don't like how you can like customize your Presser Mark II in your mobile operation center or your Avenger because you can only customize it in the terabyte. that I'm at the packages again just down here I've got to do two more journeys it's probably really boring but it's boring for me as well another bad thing is how you got to stop just to get your boost back but I came up with a strategy where I can still like use my normal driving thing whilst it charges up. You just got like lightly hold down on the jet thing. Because if you lightly hold down R2 or whatever you play on, then um you can just do it really easy. Because you lightly hold it down till you're still going really fast. But then your boost recharges at the same time. And then when it's recharged, you can boost again. It does take longer than it would to just break. But it's a way to still move whilst you're recharging it. one more delivery and it should be done ok 
Okay, last delivery. If I didn't do so many fails at the start on getting shot down and everything, then I'd still be fine. Because I'd only have like a one mile journey. Look, you can go this fast whilst it's recharging. And once it's recharged, you can go full speed again. And then when you want to recharge it again, just hold down a little bit. And then when it's ready, you can use your boost again. There we go, last one, and now I'll deliver it. Oh, now my oppressor is falling down the hill. Oh, I got to chase it down the hill. There we go, now I can do the delivery. Almost there, by almost there, I mean like two miles away, but still, almost there. I just thought I may as well break because I'm basically there now. It feels like there's a new one in my game even though I got full lobby. That's what I like about lobbies when they like don't shoot you when you're trying to do some art. Cause I usually wait until I'm the only one in the lobby or like there's one person to do all my stuff. Cause it's annoying when you've got a full lobby sometimes because they just like to ruin it for you and it's really frustrating okay now I think I'm gonna go back to my thing oh no my press is just outside um, I'll quickly start a headhunter. Wait, which one's closer? I reckon this one's closest. Oh, didn't see that because I'd. Oh, I thought that that was the headhunter for a minute.
Oh god, I've run out of rockets. Oh god, I'm about to die. Please peek. He's gonna kill me if he peeks, so. There he is. Oh, uh, quick default. Oh no, I don't have any body arm. He's harsh. Now I've got the police on me. There we go, one down. And I'm down. Now I need to figure out how I'm gonna get back on my thing. Um. I'm gonna need a little boost to get up there, so if I take this car, drive it back round to where I need to go. This glitch is still a thing where it never comes off your screen now, it says it's taken, it's taken away the money. That's really not going to help, but this will. Oh, I'm not sure how this is going to work actually. Okay, there. And now take it back to my terabyte, just so that I can get my rockets back. Because that's how I got to refresh my rockets. I don't want to take too long because I've only got. Well, I mean. I think you only got that a lot of time, 10 minutes to do it, or 11 minutes to be it. No. Okay, come in here, probably take me off my bike, then I'll get back on and quickly go back out. Okay, 30 rockets. I don't know why the explosive rounds cost more. I mean, I, I never really use the explosive round on anything. Even though they're probably better if they're costing more. I'm gonna go to this one because I think it's the furthest away on the map. Even though I should probably do it in order on where they are, could it probably make it easier? I feel like this is gonna be easier. Oh, there we go. There we go, got him. That was actually easier than I thought it would be. No, nope, that's a player and I don't want to kill anyone. Because it's wasting my rockets. Oh, this one's right here, I may as well go to this one. What? How is he not dead? I 
I'm gonna quickly run away so that I can eat some snacks and then I'll go back for him. Now, head to the last guy. Jeez, how far? Oh, he's not. He, he's in a car. Of course he is. Let me get my boost ready. Oh, I can lock on to him from here. Apparently. He's probably got out of the car. There we go. Completed. I think that's going to leave it for today's video.